It's Cal Forever here. <clears throat> I just wanted to do a video for family, for Rainbow Family. Yeah. Green lighter, the heart for my heart out to green ray for the Rainbow Family. So, uh, my experience at the mineral show on 22, 22nd Mineral Show, 22nd Street, hanging out at the lot there with Rainbow Family. There's this guy that came in, there's this dog fight the night before, and this guy came in, he wasn't really family, but he was like a combat uh, medic veteran. And so he, he knew his way around. And someone thought that they ac that they accidentally dosed him with some L or something like that, <laughs> and but someone did their math on wrong and a bunch of people got puddled anyways, and so many people were tripping out and I'm like, then I didn't I didn't do anything I didn't drink I didn't smoke cigarettes, I didn't smoke pot uh, and I didn't take any acid I'm empathic I thought I took acid because I was empathing some people but I didn't take any, and me and this one other kid were the only sober people. Well, this combat medic, he was smart. He was like a chemist too. So he was like uh, trying to titanium plate uh, quartz or something like that. And he put a bunch of minerals and shit in with all this quartz and put it in the fire. Well, a bunch of the Rainbow family, a bunch of the hippies were like, thought thought that, because they're all on acid, thought that, they, that he was trying to make a bomb and trying to blow up the whole camp. <laughs> like the, the weirdest delusion like LSD like I've never taken it that much my experience with psychedelics in general were like you don't have delusions like that was, but they all thought they all thought he was trying to blow up the camp it's like this one guy that's like helping heal this dog's like broken paw from a dog fight and he's a combat medic and there's all these people that need help there's this, this one of my friends he, he burnt the shit out of his back because he fell into a fire like all these people need help and you kick the one guy out of the camp, the combat medic that can help all you guys because you think he's trying to make a bomb in the middle of a fire. Damn, you guys on your psychedelic trip empathed and healed him from, from his war. You guys psychically picked up on his war vibe maybe. <coughs> or you guys are just plain fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Just pick up on his war vibe, maybe. I didn't really think about this before. Maybe on their psychedelic trip, picking up on this guy's war vibe from him serving overseas and all the bombs and shit and, and just picking up on that vibe and like maybe that's where that paranoia came from. You ever think about that? Maybe maybe paranoia comes from a realistic fear that's not necessarily really rooted in reality, but it's like a shadow aspect. It's kind of something cool to think about because, you know, like people that are like schizophrenic or paranoid schizophrenic or just having a psychotic episode, maybe they're just tuned in that collective shadow and it's scaring the shit out of them because they're not even just their brain, but their body's reacting to it and they're having this physiological response and a panic attack and this fear, not knowing what to do with it. And it's not really like there's no other psychics or shamans around to really understand that. Maybe that person's a shaman clearing that out of the collective. Maybe just out of the family just feeling ancestral bullshit. <laughs> Something interesting too. Maybe someone did do their math wrong with the LSD. Maybe it's all the crystals at the mineral show that just tripped all these people out because the energy there was so strong. It intensified because when everyone took all the LSD, it's like they opened up their mind and was flooding in all this light. And then I'm like the empath, the shaman, like feeling this and like, whoa. And like, I remember I put my hands around the central fire and just like this beam of light just came down like, boom, and this portal opened up and it was like this, this holographic grid system and like everything just became hollow and fell through into this emptiness. And I was like, oh shit, freaked the fuck out of me. It made my heart pound like crazy and I'm like, fuck. And I left that central fire after that. But then the next night, having everyone around the fire and just, just like 
showing them on their psychedelic trip, or maybe this was the night before, I don't know, like, this happened within two weeks and a half, <laughs> and, like, showing them, like, all of their things are healing that are being reflected from their points of view into the fire like one guy here like sees himself sitting there and if you look at his point of view you can actually see that manifesting in the fire but just from a few a foot away someone else sees something completely different and it's like it looks like a bunch of ribs from when they ate when they were a child and they had this beautiful barbecue like just as an example like, like right does that make sense Gotta have my, my incense right here. Gone. Polo Santo. I got that at the 22nd Mineral Show. Oh, yeah. This is a uh, chocolate with mint, by the way. This stuff's pretty good. All right, that's my story um, about the mineral show about two years ago, I think. That's fun. <clears throat>